All right, hey guys, Mrs. McGinnis here. We've just finished playing our awesome pieces with our clarinet, and now we're gonna take it apart and most importantly, clean it. The clarinet, even though it may be made of resin, it has pads, and it's really important that we keep it dry so those pads don't fall apart and get yucky. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off our reed because the rule is the reed is either on the instrument, in your mouth, or in the case. So take off your reed, put it in the case, that way it doesn't get chipped, and you're done. Cool. Then you'll wanna take your ligature and put it in your case so it doesn't fall on the ground and get bent or anything like that. Then you should have some sort of cleaning rag. This is my cleaning rag. It's pretty big because I play a lot. You also could have one that looks like this. That will work too. There's little chamois kinds, and then there's the big kite kinds. Either one works fine. Now this is the important part, guys. Take off the mouthpiece and just kind of shake it out. The mouthpiece doesn't have any padding, so it doesn't really need to have the swab go through it. Turn your clarinet upside down. That's the important part. Now, with your cleaning rag, you will have a little weight in the end of it. Drop that weight into the bell and it will come out the other side then you will pull the kite through, okay? Again, did you notice that I made sure this was nice and like floofy before I put it in? Don't try and ball it up and then put it through. You want it to be nice and floofy and loose and pull it through. Now, <clears throat> you might say, Mrs. McGinnis, that's really weird. Why'd you turn your instrument upside down? Because inside the upper joint, there is this little tiny rod. And if you put your cleaning rag inside, you can barely see it. If you put your cleaning rag inside the barrel, because it's smaller, it tends to get caught on that little rod inside from the B flat key. And that happened to me when I was in middle school and my parents had to take my clarinet to the shop and they had to take it completely apart to get the rag out. And back then it cost $60 and my parents were not happy. And the repair guy told me then, always turn your clarinet upside down because you're going from larger to smaller and it just works better. So always turn your clarinet upside down. Then start with the barrel, we're gonna go backwards. Take off the barrel, put it in the case. Put my mouthpiece away here. Now the reason I have two cleaning rags in my case is because my clarinet is wood and I actually use this one to oil my clarinet. You guys don't have to do that since you're gonna have um, ebonite and resin clarinets. Then I'll take off my bell, put it in the case, and then very gently twist these apart so as not to bend any of the keys and like a puzzle. If these don't feel like they're fitting properly, if you've put them and it's like, wait a minute, don't force it, it means it's in the wrong place, okay? They're very specific in how they fit. Now, not all clarinets are gonna look exactly like this in the case. Some might be this way. Some might have the bell going this way. You look at your puzzle, and if it helps, take a picture with your phone when you first open it so you can kind of remember how it goes. It's really important because when you do close this, you wanna make sure that you're not crushing any of the keys or bending any of them. Then with your cleaning rag, I just kind of shake mine, especially if it has any little spittle on it. And then I gently roll it up like this and I put it back in my case. Make sure my reeds are in there, close it up and I make sure that it's all the way closed and ready to go. And that's how you take apart your clarinet.